Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my whole collection project pan update. Um, I have a lot of things that are going to be rolling out, but this is a project where I'm working on 23 products for 2023 and it's a rolling project. So when I roll things out, I replace them. So I'm always working on 23 products. I hope that makes sense. Um, <laughs> it's basically a bunch of different project pens that I took elements from and just made my own project for how it works for me to do panning, to pen products. <laughs> anyway, it's been a while since I filmed a video so I feel a bit strange. Also, my hair is different and yeah, I am feeling weird, I guess. Anyway, let's start like we did last time with the products that I'm rolling out just to make this quicker. Um, and then I'll just briefly show you what's still in the project and then I'll roll in the, pro the other products at the end. So I'm just looking over here because that's where my Excel sheet is. <laughs> so let's start with my Alamar Hydrating Complexion Trio. I use this actually 18 of the 15 times that I had a goal to use it for. Um, I probably used it even more than that, but once I hit my goal on things, like I don't really care about tracking them anymore because I'm not tracking like total uses really. But yeah, that's probably pretty accurate, 18 times. Actually, this is the shade that I rolled in. So it was um, Cafe Con Leche that I was using as my bronzer. But I also did use these two shades as well, but mainly I focused on this. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Um, the embossing is pretty deep in these pans, so it doesn't really look like I use it much, but yeah. Um, I really like this. It was re really easy to blend. The tone was nice. I keep using this, but I have so many other bronzers I can use, so I will be replacing this with something. Um, then I had this concealer collection and this was like never used or maybe used once before I rolled it into this project and it's super old. I got it in a boxycharm like forever ago. It's a palette of cream concealers but obviously like for one person they're not going to use all of these shades. I tried to use as many shades as I could that I thought would you know work for my skin tone. So I did use, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six pans. You can see the ones that I used. I did try to use like this shade as a cream contour, this as a bronzer. I'm actually wearing this today, but you know, I put so much, so many other things on top. Um, I actually don't hate this, but I feel like I don't need this because I'm never going to touch like these shades. I don't color correct or anything, so I'm not even going to use them for that. Yeah. So I think I'm decluttering this, actually. I just decided that right now, but I was kind of thinking that anyway, because I just feel like I don't need this. Like, I'm only using it because it's in this project. Otherwise, I probably would never reach for this. And the cream, I don't find like the formulas are consistent like the darker shades are very emollient but the shades that I would use like as concealer are too dry to use like under my eyes so yeah I don't know I don't need this um I'll try to like pass it on to a friend or something maybe like a makeup artist would find this useful but I don't know because you kind of have to put your fingers in here too Anyway, I did meet my goal on this though. I used it 13 out of the 10 use goal that I had. So like, I didn't hate it. I reached for it because it was in my, shut my stash, but I just don't need this. Oh, the next product I'm rolling out, I used, I only had a five use goal on this because it's a black eyeliner and I never 
loose black eyeliner, but I did use it five times. I think like four out of the five times I used it as a tight liner, so that's when you put the eyeliner like on your upper lash line, but like inside. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, and I didn't like it for that because it transferred to the bottom, so whenever I used it like that, I ended up with black liner like on the outer half of my lower, of my waterline anyway, so yeah, I don't know. I don't need <laughs> this in my collection either. Um, I see like this could be very useful if you're somebody that does like a smoky wing um, on a, you know, relatively often basis because it's so creamy that it would be easy to like smudge out that way but I don't do that so I don't know I guess I'll keep it um in my collection for now because I did use it like in my eye but I don't know I'd probably only ever reach for it again if it got rolled into another project but yeah I'm rolling this out and I didn't even say what this was did I this is the Tristique Line Sharpen and Smudge Eye Pencil in Santorini Black Sand. Yes. Um, the next thing I'm rolling out, which I'm excited, I actually know what I'm replacing this with. This is my Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. I am wearing it today. I did realize, like, now that I'm wearing it in the warmer months, this is a little light for me. It's the shade 040. Um, I really like this product though. If I ever repurchased this, I would get a different shade, but I really like the formula. Um, you guys know if you watch my other videos, I really like a sheer coverage if I'm even going to wear foundation, which is not very often to be honest, but this is a product I would wear when I want to wear foundation because it does even out my skin tone. It has like a very, you know... Actually, the coverage isn't bad. It's just that it's so, like, it's really like the name suggests. It's a luminous tinted serum. That's, like, exactly what it is. But I did use this 11 of, well, at my use goal was 10. I used it 11 times. That's probably accurate because, yeah, I don't wear you know, foundation often. Lately, when I've been wearing makeup, I've only been wearing concealer and like a bit of another product that I'll show you soon, a powder. Um, but I don't know. I have so many foundations in my collection that aren't being touched. So yeah, I'll show you what I'm replacing this with uh, later on, but I am rolling this out. Um, yeah, if you guys, care about what it's looking like now because it is like an airless pump so for project panners it's fun because you can see how much you know use you're doing but it's still only been used that much and that's after 11 well 11 uses in this project so this can last you a long time because actually I only use like one maximum one and a half pumps of this because if not I feel like it starts to get hard to blend, like it gets a bit streaky, so I can't use more than that. Anyway, that's a long story to tell you that I'm rolling this out. Um, the next thing I'm rolling out is a lip pencil from Bodyography. This is the shade Rosewood, and it's a very deep, vampy shade. I'll give you a swatch. So I actually used this 12 out of 10 times. The, my goal was 10 times, so I used it 12 times. If you're wondering how I used it so much, it was mostly <laughs> because I I try on lip products like for fun <laughs> because I have so many and I'm trying to curate my collection. And a lot of like the deeper shades were matching really well with this color, so that's how I used it. I think I sharpened it like twice, but it's still, as you can see, it was brand new when I rolled it in, so it's still very much a full-size lip liner. I actually don't love this formula. It's very waxy, 
Um, you have to like put a light layer of it, I feel. I don't know, but I'm gonna keep it because this shade is actually very useful um, because when I do wear lip products that are in this shade, I always need a lip liner or else it'll be everywhere. So it's very helpful to have this shade in a lip liner. So I'm gonna keep it, but it is not my favorite lip liner formula. If I find another lip liner in my collection that I like the formula better, I'd probably declutter that one. But so far, I haven't, you know, been working on that. Um, then the product I was talking about before is my Becca Hydra Mist. This is what I've been wearing, like on a on days where I'm doing like a no makeup makeup. I just put this like. Um, kind of where my my pores are so here and like here I've actually been really liking this I know you know Becca doesn't exist anymore so this product doesn't exist anymore and this is just a mini but I could probably finish this if I kept working on it but I do have another powder in this project that I need to start using because I've been solely using this um, as my powder. You guys know I don't even really wear powder, but this is actually a really good one for dry skin. Not that it matters because it doesn't exist anymore. Anyway, I've used this 10 of 10 times. The last product I'm rolling out is a primer. This is my Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. I really like this. I feel like it doesn't really do much for priming, but I just like how it feels. It's more like a moisturizer, to be honest. Um, it says it's Energize and Rescue with Aloe, Coconut Water, and Probiotics. It's silicone free. Yeah, I, I don't find, like it doesn't feel like a smoothing primer. It really just feels, it feels like the, I mention this every time I talk about this probably, but it feels like the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer. But that one has a glow in it, and this has no glow. Like, it's really just a lotion. But I like how it feels, and it's good for my dry skin, so I do like this. But I am going to roll it out, because it, it keeps coming. <laughs> you guys know, uh, if you've seen my makeup inventory, that I have so many primers that need to get used. So I'll put this one back. Um, yeah, so that was everything I'm rolling out. So let's just quickly go through what's staying in the project. My Makeup Forever Trio, actually this is the shade that is in this project. This is the blush in B308. I have grown to really like this. At first I was like, oh it's not very punchy, like I'm into more vibrant blushes now. But when I do like a minimal makeup look and like when I go to the office, which I won't be doing until September, <laughs> but I was using this and I really like it. It's just a really nice flush. It's like a corally tone on my skin tone. And I've actually been using the, I guess this is meant to be a contour shade, but it can be used as a bronzer on my skin tone because it's more, it leans a little warm even though it looks cool in the pan. But yeah, I'm actually wearing it today, but I have a million things on. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much I started using both of these, but this was the, this is the shade I'm working on. I've actually used it 14 of the 15 times. So this will be rolled out next update for sure. I don't really use this shade though. I think when I made this trio, I thought this was a highlighter, like a glow highlighter, but it's really just like a matte powder. So I don't really use those because I try not to put so much powder on my dry skin. But yeah, I really like the formula of these Makeup Forever pans. They're very finely milled. Anyway, I'm not supposed to be reviewing the products that are staying in. Um, then my Freck Beauty Cheek Slime, this thing here that I'll probably have for the rest of my life because you just need a dot of this. This is the blush I'm wearing today. 
and honestly I had to um, really work hard to tone it down because it is so pigmented. Um, I've only used this 4 out of the 10 times, so this will be staying in for sure. Um, I also have a powder blush in this project from Pat McGrath that I keep in the packaging. <laughs> um, it's the... What is this? The Skin Fetish Divine Blush Duo in Cosmic Coral. I love this, but I've only used it twice because I'm working on so many other things as you can see. Um, I only have a 5 use goal on this so this could probably be rolled out. Maybe. Uh, but so far I've been mixing the two colors and then like at the end maybe I'll just dab a bit of just the pink side or the coral side to make it more punchy but I really like this blush which I'm glad because I have two of these uh, blush duos and this was brand new when I rolled it in. It was in my new makeup drawer. Oh, next is my Too Faced Shake Your Pom Poms palette. I've only used it four out of 20 times. Yeah, but it, this is one of my favorite palettes. I mention this every time. It's just that I have like 21 palettes in rotation right now. <laughs> Um, so this kind of like, I kind of forget that it's in this project and I already, already know that I love it. So, you know, anyway, I'll try to work this in more to other looks. Like I can use this shade as a blush, which I've done, and this as a highlighter. So I don't even have to use it for eyeshadow, but I just keep forgetting about it. Um, but yeah. So 16 more uses. I think this will be in this project till the very end, which is fine because I really like it. Another palette in this project. I actually have not used this at all yet. I only have a five use goal, so I'm not too worried, but it's my ColourPop Harry Potter Pressed Powder Palette. I'll just show it to you briefly, but again, I haven't used it once. I mean, I've used it, but not in this project really pretty though so need to get on that and then this my tartan powered hybrid gel foundation the oldest foundation in my collection I my goal is to use this up and I've only used it three times um, this is probably something that I will declutter at the end of the year I don't see myself using this up there's still probably half the product left. I just don't reach for foundations much. And last time I used this, I felt like my skin looked really dry. I think the formula is changing because I used to really like this. But yeah, I don't know. Or it's just my preferences. But I'll try to use this more. But I think I'll declutter it at the end of the year because it's getting very old. This doesn't even exist anymore. Well, it might. I think they just put it in a different packaging and called it a different name, but it's the same product, I think. <laughs> but yeah, this like format doesn't exist anymore. Oh, my perfumes. Another thing, I can't believe how slow this is going. My Lancome Idol. It's just a deluxe size sample. This is how much I've used, even though I've used this. 18 times can you, like why are people even buying full-size fragrances you can use this for like two years <laughs> and it'll never go down at least the way i wear perfume i actually like shake the bottle and then i pull the dapper out and there's like enough on there that i i could smell it like all day long it's a very strong perfume but i i like it it's just not something I wear every day. But yeah, this will probably be in until the end of the year also. And then I have a bunch of highlighters. So I have my MAC Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. I have used this 4 out of 10 times. It's really pretty and I really like it. So that's fine. Um, 
it'll just be in for a while longer my hard candy rose gold highlighter i this is one of my favorite highlighters i think and it's just a little mini that i got in a walmart beauty box <laughs> and it's probably worth like two dollars but i love it so you j i just mix all the shades together and it becomes like a nice rose gold shade i'll show you quickly it looks kind of boring but for some reason on the skin it looks, looks really pretty you can see it a bit there and yeah i really like this i've used this three of ten times so still more to go and that's my cap on powder highlighters because i didn't mention at the beginning but i only work on two products from the same category at a time so my mac and my hard candy highlighters that's already the two i also have a liquid highlighter which i wanted to show you my progress but i dropped it on the floor <laughs> so you can't tell but when this settles it's about down to here which actually i don't know how it's already down there because i haven't used it much i've only used this three out of the five times and maybe i've used it less than five times before putting into this project i actually do kind of like this i'm wearing it today but i put another highlighter on top <laughs> so yeah and i do want to try mixing this in with the tarte foundation maybe it'll make it more glowy because this is very liquidy and smooth i think the best way to wear it though is when i dab it with my fingers i've tried to put it on with like a stippling brush but it looked a bit like it sat on the surface of my skin so i don't love it i don't prefer liquid highlighters anyway but i'll you know i don't hate it and i'll keep using it i only have to use it two more times so this will probably probably be rolled out next update for a lip gloss, I have my Marc Jacobs Forbidden Fruit. I love this lip gloss. I love the Marc Jacobs lip gloss. By the way, did you guys see? There's a rumor that Marc Jacobs Beauty is coming back. And I'm very excited. And I hope they come back with the same products because I liked pretty much everything. So, well, everything that I tried. <laughs> But this, um, I have a 10 new skull on this. I've only used it four times. I feel like that's not very accurate. But anyway, I'll just say four times because I don't mind using this more, especially in the summer months. It's like a nice, well, it looks kind of vibrant in the tube, but it goes on very sheer. Like every time I wear it, I'm like, oh, that's not as pigmented as I thought it would be. But I love the formula and it smells nice and minty so yeah i have to use this six more times oh my lethal cosmetics nova lip gloss this is one of my favorite lip glosses in my collection i'm wearing it right now um i've used this nine of ten times so i only need to use it one more time so this will be rolled out to the next update i love it it's like a nice nude it feels more like a lip oil than a lip gloss in my opinion but it stays on really nice and I really like it. Then I have a mini liquid lipstick from Sephora, the cream lip stain, yeah, in the shade 01, a red. <laughs> um, I have a five use goal on this and I have not used it once yet. So yeah, I need to get on that. I do really like the cream lip stain formula so I'm sure I'll like this. I like this color of red. It's just I haven't, you know, reached for it yet. Oh, and then the powder that I'm needing to focus on now that I'm rolling out the Becca one. I don't know if I'm going to like this one though. It's the KVD, uh, KVD Locket Setting Powder in Translucent. It's just a mini, but I've maybe use this once or twice wait i can just look yeah so i've used this twice out of the 10 times because i guess i realized i like the becca one better but i'll try to 
see if I like this. If not, I can pass it on um, because there's no point in putting like a powder on that I don't like. So that's thing in, but now that's my only powder in this project, so it shouldn't be too difficult. My e.l.f. Putty Primer. I've used it 6 out of 10 times. I actually have a pen in this. <laughs> You can see that because I keep using well I use the brush that comes with this the um, applicator for this product and I keep like putting into the same hole because I just want to get a bit on the spatula um, but obviously like I still have all of this product to use this is not something I would repurchase I don't hate it it's just I don't feel like it's something I need I prefer like a hydrating glowy primer and this is really just for blurring the pores and even at that I don't find like it's super blurring so yeah this is just the original universal sheer I know there's different kinds of this now but this was like the original one I need to use this four more times which shouldn't be difficult now that this is the only primer in my project and the last thing is my setting spray. This little deluxe sample of the Urban Decay All Nighter. It feels like there's still so much in here, but I've used it 12 times. But my goal is to use it up and just get it out of my collection. I don't need, you know, these types of um, setting sprays in my collection. These long lasting ones. I don't wear my makeup for like more than nine hours probably at a time like i don't i don't know i don't go to events <laughs> or anything where i need my makeup to stay on so yeah i wouldn't repurchase this but i do find it works it just it does leave like a film on your face i feel not that one you can see but if you like touch your skin you can kind of feel like there's something on the surface which I guess is how it makes your makeup last longer but anyway yeah so just trying to use this up I mean I can't see how much is left probably like a third so yeah that's gonna be in here until it's done and that was everything so I'm quickly going to choose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven new products. Well, one of them I already know what it is, but I'll um, do that off camera and come back to show you what those are. Okay, I'm back. I have my products and I'm very excited about them. If you don't know, um, I mentioned in one of my videos how I choose my products. It's basically like a mix of well things that I know I need to work on but then also randomizing and not having more than one product no more than two products in the same category so I use my tiny decisions app and like my number randomizer it's a whole thing <laughs> so these are the products that I came to the first one that I mentioned this is the one that I chose myself it's to replace my Rose Ink Tinted Serum. The Pureless Ageless, Ageless Glow Serum BB Cream with SPF 40. I mentioned in several videos I need to use this because the SPF expires next year. So I need to get on this. I'm going to put a 10 use goal. Yeah, a 10 use goal on this, same as the um, same goal that I had for the rose ink. I don't even know if I'll like this because I've never tried it before, but if I do, at least I can use it while the SPF is still, you know, functional. So yeah, this will be my replacement for the rose ink, but I did end up rolling another skin tint and it's my Fenty one, the Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint in the shade 4. I love this product, so I am happy to work on it. I think this was in my last Shop My Stash 
Like I feel like I worked on it recently for something, but that's fine because there's still tons of product in here and this is getting older. I think I bought this like when it launched, so yeah. Very happy about these two products. These are the kind of, you know, complexion products that I like, that are like more like skin tints than foundations. So that should be good. And I'll do a 10 new skull on that one as well. Um, I did end up rolling in a concealer, which is good because I got rid of my concealer palette. I rolled my Maybelline Age Rewind. This hasn't been used in a while, but I've seen like this product is actually very popular again. I think because of TikTok, like a lot of TikTok people are using this again. Um, I have the eraser for dark circles version. So I don't know what that's about, but the shade is ivory. I remember liking this, so I'll have to try it again. I already have, you know, some use on it. It's one of those airless pumps. So yeah, that's my concealer. I'll do a 10 new skull on that one as well. For highlighter, so. I keep rolling highlighters into this project. Now I'm at my cap on powder and cream highlighter because I rolled in my Milk Supernova holographic stick. This could be fun though for this time of year. I feel like I've maybe never worn this. It looks like I've swatched it, but... Oh, it's actually quite pretty. Um, I do like these um, sticks from Milk. I have the shade Lit as well, which is more like, you know, a basic highlighter shade. This is more holographic, but it looks really pretty. And I am someone that likes colorful highlighters, so I'm kind of excited about this. This is a good time of year to work on something like this as well. So, but since I'm working on three other highlighters. I'll only do five uses on this, I think. Yeah, five uses for the holographic stick. I did roll in a powder, so I was hoping I wouldn't roll in another powder because I want to work on that KVD one, but I rolled the Ciate Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder, and I don't think I've ever used this. I don't know. I did take the seal off, so maybe. It does smell like coconut and it looks very, yeah, it feels very smooth and like it could be good. So yeah, I'll try it. My other powder has what, 10 uses? 10 use goal? Yeah, so I guess I'll do 10 uses on this one too. I don't have many powders in my collection that I need to rotate through, so 10 is fine for a powder. And then the last thing I rolled in is very exciting because it came from my new makeup drawer and it's a cream blush. And now I'm at my cap on blushes too because I have two creams and two powders <laughs> now in this project. This is the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder in the shade Golden Hour. I have not used this yet. It's a beautiful shade for this time of year and I'm very excited to use it. It's kind of like a reddish orange. Let's swatch it. Ooh. Okay, yes. I think I'm gonna love this. Very excited about this. Actually, it looks pretty similar <laughs> to the blush I'm wearing today, the Freck Beauty Cheek Slime, which is also in this in this project, but they're different formulas, so we'll see. But it is a shade that I really like to use. So that is everything. Those are my new products. I have to take this swatch off before I get it on this white shirt. <laughs> and yeah, that's everything for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!